Hey, what's going on, guys? Cracking here. Welcome back to Contraband Police. We're in episode two. And <laughs> let me just address something. Logging in to, uh, to come back in to the uh, to the game. Uh, I, I think I mentioned I, I beat the game already by starting with the government in the first one. For well, the first time. And as soon as you finish that wrong, it, it completely ended the, the game. You couldn't even go back in. Now I'm logging in. Because I want to start over and choose the other side, which is not the government side, the opposite side, the bad side. And now I'm seeing there's multiple save uh, slots. Like, why I wasn't there earlier? Anyway, let's get started. Let's see what we're working on today. Um, ooh. I mean, again, like I said, I've I played this before. If you guys actually want me to, uh, to go in a bit of details in a different episode, no problem. All right, so you must have a valid cargo. Hey, dude, give me your papers, man. What, what's the matter? You just pull up and just... All right, let's check this. Oh, my God. All right, they have a cargo. Let's stay in your truck, please. All right, C is for the cargo list. Once you have picked it up, and you then you press E. Well, I'm not going to check it here. Why would you want me to check it here? E, actually, they're not giving me the option, but I'm so used to it. You can just press E, take it on me, and you essentially take it off from the truck. And, and then you can properly scan it and whatnot. All right, let's see our notes. We don't really need that because we can just check it here. Uh, 11 cement against 11. That's cool. Two gas range. Oh, he has three gas rings. Hmm. I don't even need to check the rest. as if he... <laughs> He can't enter because uh, cargoless is, an, is a problem. All right. Let's just jump off. Um, I think I need to check the rest of his documents, make sure his uh, photo actually looks like him. Yeah, that looks like him. Check this date, make sure it matches, it's not expired. Um, his name. Oh, a little known fact, you could actually check his name up here on the cargo list too, just to make sure that's actually correct. So make sure you guys are doing that. And yeah, everything is good. But sorry, dude, you can't enter because inspection finished, sir, and you cannot enter because <laughs> you don't have this in order. Don't get upset with me. Get out of here. That's the rules. Look, it's right here. Next. Drive down, sir. Come on. Come on. What we got? Oh, you got a set of oil barrels in there. Documents, sir. Alright. Let's see. Alright. Whip this out. Come on, don't be complaining now. What we got? What we got? That's it. All the cargo is set on the table so you can count it or switch. For contraband? Is it contraband? Oh my god, there is contraband. <laughs> There's like two in here. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sir? Sir, could you, uh. Oh my god, I hear it when you're trying to. They still stuck you on the dang. I'm not in the... Alright. Right. Step out of the vehicle and you're under arrest. Come on. I've played this before, man. Where, where the heck is he, actually? I, I really like to know. Could you just... Because if you can shut up for a few minutes, I can do my job. I'm a pro at this, guys. Come on. Trust me. And he's in jail. Alright, and that's what you get. I'll see you guys later. Let me go pick up the uh, counterfeit money that we found, which is right here. Sweet. We got two. I right, also have here. Let's just open this bad boy up. There we go. We got one. How much we get? How much we got? Um, any on this? Ooh, I think this might need the axe. And just a reminder, if you guys, once you see this S, that's the meaning of smuggler. And... Uh, you can arrest them before. Uh, no, we, we, we ain't finished yet, bro. I, th I think there's more, like, all on the tires. We need to make sure we check that. Nope. We I'm not going inside yet. I'm just going to check the bumper. Bumper looks fine. The wheel looks fine. Let's make sure we do a detailed check. Anything on this bumper? Nope. 
All right. Now let's just quickly check in here. See what the car seat looks like. Because I don't know if it's still acting um, as a um, training segment where... Oh, sorry. My bad, dude. <laughs> Swung that by accident. All right. I think it's good. I think it's still like a training session, so like to just want to hammer home that you could have drugs in the uh, the barrel. Yep, yep, that's what it was. Next, come on. Oh, that was the last smuggler. Sweet. All right, so then we don't need to worry about these guys because um, that's another trick. As long as you clear all the smugglers, you don't need to really check uh, for these guys. You're just gonna check them for the um, dude. Do you want to just pull up? This. Oh, right. Is it because the axe in my hand? Wait, wait, wait. Alright, he does match. He does match. Let's check the uh, the dates. There we go. Check the other date. There we go. Uh, you are Miko. Double eyes. KO. Onion. If I'm butchering that, sorry. Uh, yeah, I think this might be correct. Yep. Alright, let's just check your cargo goods, sir. I'm pretty sure it's wrong. But we'll see I anyway. Wait, what is it? He has two hay bales and one potato sack. He has uh, two hay bales. On All right, so he might actually be correct. Um, I found nothing else. So, sir, you are clear to go. Go on. Go on. Hurry up before I change my mind. Next. Don't worry about this guy. Drive down. Drive. Drive down. Drive down. And just a quick reminder. See perfect inspection and not to worry about the uh, smuggler. So you gonna give me a stuff, man, or you gonna have to ask? You make me do this again? Alright, he does match his picture. He has five goods. Gotta see this. No way he has five goods up in here. It's literally three. Look at this. One, two, three. Alright, so immediately uh, he has a cargo this problem. So we could just deny that we could just check uh his passport information one time uh there we go uh actually hoping they give me access to the computer uh because i need some up updates upgrades all right i'll show you guys all that in a bit once once the game finishes up with these goddamn oh no 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 i accidentally approved them oh boy you know what? I'll leave it. I, I ain't gonna do it for the day. I want you guys to see what's gonna happen when you do accident approved. Because that should have been a denied. Alright, so you lose a hundred dollars. You know what? I'm glad I did that. Go rest up tomorrow the last day of your training. Okay, thank God. Because this training is absolutely 100%. It's actually good. Uh, <laughs> you thought I was gonna say sucks, huh? It does when you have played the game already and you have to go through this again. Close the door, man. Come on. Alright, so let's rest up. All right, so we are back on the next day. We have one smuggler to look out for. His partial registration is TNU, and the same cargo list um, entry regulation is still going on. So, dude, my guy, drive down early morning. Come on, come true, come true. Uh, there we go. Does this number plate look like that? TNU. That's fine. Hey, uh, hold on. Oh, this is uh, you know what? I tried this the first time. Why am I still holding the counterfeit money? I need to drop that off. Give me a document, sir. There we go. Uh, flammable substances. Really? Hmm. He's not joking. All right, take it out. Take it out. Be careful with it. Why? <laughs> Why are you carrying this stuff, man? I don't need to check him for uh, like the smuggling because we know the number plate lines up and he has more than the amount. So naturally, his calculus is wrong. Uh, so he's not going to enter at all. Uh, my dude, just uh, put his stuff back in for me, please. There we go. Uh, let me just check it, docs remaining while we're here. AI am on. AI man, Bart, Bart, X4 B9. Ooh, 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 ooh. mismatch, mismatch indeed. So not only, oh my God, 
Dude, what's the matter with you? Inspection report is looking whack. All right, sir, you are denied. There we go. Yeah, I know, right? It's what it is. It's just begun for you. All right, next, come down, sir. Hopefully, your number plate is not TNU. And it is TNU. I'll just start scanning here. Start scanning. Oh, so yes. Sir, just uh. Atridge, Akravratai. Um, sir. Oh my god, we got ourselves a runner. Come, 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 come. You saw he just closed back the, the goddamn door and he was like, Yeah, I'm not taking that. Let's go, let's go. This is exciting. Now we got ourselves a fugitive. Alright, I think he would have gone right. And this is why I'm saying I needed upgrades, man. Alright, because this truck uh, or wagon. Is it a wagon? No, it's not really a wagon. It's more like uh, a mini bus, so to speak. It, it's I felt had upgraded it. If I got the option to upgrade it, he's catching this guy. We're gonna catch this guy up way faster than he is. But at least I think because it's still like a training session kind of sort of um, We should be able to catch it once we, we drive properly don't run into anything Now we don't have a gun so we can't shoot him if he, we do get him to stop All right back up behind him back up behind him. Nope. 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 There we go All right, so step out of the car. Get out of the car. You are arrested, my friend. All right, so quick tip, guys. Um, you have five minutes to return, but guess what? Guess what? Remember, the drugs are still on the truck, so don't leave him. Or leave the truck, I would say, without getting some extra counterfeit money, because we know we could always sell the stuff back. So that's another one. Don't forget that. Because we have enough time. Honestly, we have enough time to run back and um, reach back into the border in time. It's, it's not really that far off. Just just keep an eye out on the time. There we go. Where else? Where else? Oh, there we go. All this is extra money, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, we won't be able to move these stuff. That's the only problem. And we can't open it. So we're limited in what we can actually search. But it was still good to, to sort of search it. So make sure and always search uh, those runaway fugitives. Even if, you know, because there will be more, obviously. So make sure I remember that, alright? Alright, let me just head back to the uh, the border, border patrol. And uh, yeah, we get back to our normal day. Alright, we are back. Hold on, let me just turn off the siren. There we go. Oh, and one more thing, guys. Make sure I remember to transfer this guy into your prison. Don't accidentally put, I almost accidentally press it too. Look at him. Just break through everything. Hmm. Yeah, so make sure you put him inside the, uh, the prison, please. Because then he will escape if you actually forget him and then you lost that guy. And that is actually money as well. All right. Answer the phone, let's go. What we got? Ah. Uh, <laughs> Trail of Bloodfist Rebels near the sawmill. You mean my new comrades? You mean. Alright, so. We got ourselves a new mission. Let's go. Oh, wait, hold on. Just in case uh, something happens and I lose this. There we go. Dump all that counterfeit money in there. So, this is the option. And we got ourselves our first gun. Yeah, good luck, camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, my eye. Perfect. Uh, I need the pistol. Yeah. Alright, there we go. So we're gonna have to make an option. Uh, we'll pick an option, guys. So 
I told you before, turn off that radio. So, as you would have read, Blood Fist members, um, obviously, we're going to have to make a choice, either side with them. Mm. Uh, a tough, tough drive in there. Nevertheless, I'm going to have to pick the side to join Blood Fist. Uh, so don't get disappointed or anything like that. We did say that's what we're doing for the series. Well, my playthrough. And so when we pull up, I need to remember not to pull up with my side of the... Uh... You guys can see that. Just erase that from your memory. I actually drove through that uh, curve perfectly. 100%. Nothing to see. Uh, right, perfect. I need to make sure. Wait, let the corporation begin. Right, yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Well, we ain't telling no one. Come on, where are you guys? Come on, come on, come on. What is this? Oh, right. Uh, you, see, you guys saw that guy tank so many bullets, right? <laughs> At least I got one. I mean, it, I think we were meant to go down so we can make the choice. So what do we have here? Right. Convinced of your death, the rebels escape from the sawmill after an hour. The concerned commissioner sends his deputy with a backup barricade to the police. The wound on your head turns out to be superficial. Unfortunately, Comrade Sorokin was not so lucky. Dang it. He died. <sighs> oh, ready to work now? Thank you. All right, so with that being said, the cargo list is still there. So anything wrong with cargo list is uh, denied of entry. We got ourselves uh, three new smugglers. Uh, now they have actually put a commodity embargo whereby drivers carrying goods and luggage from the kingdom of Erekai are prohibited from entering. So once we see that, they can't enter. And we're officially off the training. Training is completed. Maybe I'll have to name the title. That. I honestly thought we had to make the choice this time. But um, I guess not. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't be trying to drive through there again. Any of these is a light green... <laughs> Broken lights. Got any broken lights, sir? Alright, alright, just give me his stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking a little too much, huh? Let me see. If he ages 51, huh? Okay. Kingdom of Erekai. And he's automatic clearing stuff, so... Entry regulations, you can't enter. First to begin with, my good sir. Uh, I'm just gonna check uh this out right here because you are a greenish i don't think it's that light green what it referred to but it could have stuff on your packages that we need to check outside so give me a second confirm cargo is actually correct but unfortunately he is from the king of erikai and due to the embargo he cannot enter so that's how it looks on him right Let's shut that door for you. And, uh... Passport. Let me just check that. Mm-hmm. And then Mr. Remill. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, work. Um, dude. Everything is fine. But you, you still can't enter. Hard luck. So here's your stuff. And you are denied. Good day. Next. Drive down, sir. And uh, just a reminder, broken lights, three. Once they have three broken lights. Yeah, I know, right? This man, I know what this man doing. Broken window. A flat tire. <laughs> yeah, um, give me documents. Oh, Republic of Kangastam, that's fine. 
Miss match already on the passport, so he's not entering. Is he 51? No, he's, he's 25. Dude, you don't look 25. You look way older than that. And you actually have no cargo. Interesting, with a flat tire. Just gonna do a quick walk around, just in case. Uh, dude, you do know you have, you're have you driving with two front flat tires, right? Yep, no cargoes, whatever. Uh, broken window, dude. <laughs> you alright? Did you get an accident before you drive up here? Is everything okay? Do you need medical attention? What's going on? Regardless, you denied, buddy, because uh, you gotta get your stuff in order. Yeah, I don't really give a shit, man. Next, can you drive down, sir? Drive down. Look at them, it's flat tires. We got... Well, now a plate is not something we're going to be looking for, but the... You do what you really want to be looking for. I almost made him step out of his vehicle. I mean, I can, but... Kingdom of Arakai. So, automatically, you cannot enter due to entry regulations. You know that, right? Alright, the picture actually matches. Uh, OFS8. Nah, I cool, bro. I cool. You don't worry about earning extra money. I guess I'm lining up eventually, so... I really need to upgrade uh, my house of living. Oh, he's 30, so he's fine. Uh, everything else is fine. Uh, do I really need to open your door and check this out, bro? Alright, let me see if I can spot everything. You got chickens in the back? What the heck? Wait, is that chicken moving? Is this chicken moving? Alright, he's moving. Yeah, I, I asked that because... <laughs> believe me, you're gonna see some, some weird stuff coming up. Well, not weird, but... You're gonna have uh, people trying to come in and they're gonna have fake chickens. It's gonna be funny. Right, so, you cannot enter because you're from the King of Erica. Did you not get that before you drove up here? Hmm. Look at this guy coming in with no front bumper. You can already tell that there's no normal plate as well. Talk to me. You gonna give me your papers or do I have to ask for it? I guess I'm gonna have to ask for your papers, huh? No. What are you on about, man? Your party's dying to... Dude, chill. Chill. All right, let me just see. Does he have broken lights? Now, just because we have these people here, don't mean we will actually see them. That's another thing we need to be cautious of. Uh, let me just check this guy out. Yeah, Harun. Mm. I need to save it. You can see the my ability to check them is going down. So I really need to upgrade my house. WRFT. 1YA1, that's correct. Um, Alright. I don't think I'll be able to waste too much now. On the... Well, at least you got an plate in the back. That's alright, I guess. But still, you miss, You do know you're missing a front bumper, right? Uh, Do we have a problem with him? He doesn't have a cargo list, does he? No, he doesn't. So that's okay, his photo matches, everything else is fine. So he could actually enter because he's from United Rally. Oh, sorry, my boot. Just double check in to see if you don't have an S. Uh, I think he's fine. I think the, the van, in, if I could get out, the van in the back most likely might be the. Uh, you could have, you approve, so you can go ahead. There's a guy in the back. This guy, this guy looks like he might be one of the smugglers. Perhaps the broken lights. Now my plate is not an issue this time around. Yeah, that's right. Stop. Come on, come on. All right, so he does look like it. I'm going to check his age right off the bat. It's 29. Okay. All right. Check this. There we go. U eight four A Y U V. Okay, that's correct. 
Vlad Demer Punamar. Okay, that's correct. And he has two cows. Hmm. Does this look like he has two cows? My guy only has one one cow. And according to this, we check five chickens. Are those chickens real? This one in the middle, is he moving? Ah, uh, he's moving, okay. Alright, this guy was moving too. Okay, good. Uh so so he's wrong first to begin with for the cargo list. So he cannot enter. And he's from Afghanistan. So he could have entered if everything was fine, but he can't. So sorry my guy. Here's your stuff. And you cannot enter. Oh wait, hold on. Just making a quick double check. I was trying to check the wheels. Alright, you're good. You're good. But you're not that good. Because you're denied, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the last guy. Sweet. Strange. None of the smugglers came true. That's alright. That's totally fine. Let's uh, read what is going on in this paper. Fake help. Okay. Just want to clear that out. So we know. Goodbye, man. I know, right? Oh, because let's check the audit summary, see what we missed. Um, okay. What did we miss, though? I did have the cargo list. What do you mean? I had that. I guess I need to still work out those kings. This is a good time to replenish the supplies. Uh, free up Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we got, like... Uh, so many people, as in, we got, weird, talk to the we got two people in here, of the tree, so we're following up. Uh, oh, finally, they've given us our computer. Let's go. Right. So you can see on the right-hand side, our daily cost of uh, 150. So as we go through and we upgrade this house, which is the first thing I'm going to do, I now have to spend a maintenance fee of $40. Which is fine. Um, we should be able to cover it. Let's check back the report. So we have to spend $170 no matter what. All right. So we will get money for dropping off the passengers as well as the counterfeit money or contraband. So that's fine. Um, I'm going to actually hire. Where is he? This guy prison guards simply because these guys in the back here I have a feeling if he wasn't there they would have tried to escape so with that being said let me load up into the truck there we go we're gonna do a little drop off we're gonna drop off all these counterfeit money get some money for that and we're gonna drop these guys off into uh, was it? I think it's. Um, let me check the map. Tell you guys the name. It's labor camp. There we go. That's the name of it. We're gonna drop him off into the labor camp. Get him off our jail. We get money for that, and uh, so we can arrest more people. Because our prison can only hold three people, and if we have three smugglers that are on the rise, ain't no way we could stack three people. So and then we can't leave it midway, because then what's gonna happen is they're gonna say, hey, you need to return back. So. Like I said, oh, we're going to get an ambush, aren't we? All right, so first thing is, when you first ambush, pro tip, just drive straight through. We're not prepared for it. So I think mo if we pass, what kind of driving is that, man? You lucky I don't pull you over and take your license away. Really, really awful driving from him. Right. I think we most likely get ambushed right around here. Was that good set a point? Yep. What's up, guys? And we cannot run them over, so... Yeah. We're not prepared for that. We don't have much health, as well as ammo. We only have a pistol. Um, yeah, we're not prepared for that. So, we just ride straight through that. No need to worry about that right now. When we get more powerful guns, we could always come back, stop off, and kill them, and then take their, their ammunition. So... 
just like what I said in the first episode, I'm gonna drive to the. Hold on, do they make me go the wrong way? Let's check the map. Ooh, I made a wrong turn. All right, yeah. So what I was saying is, in the first episode, I drove, showed you guys around the map, but of course I'm not gonna show you that again. Cause that's just boring, just me driving around. And uh, most of that could happen already happened, which is an ambush. I'm not gonna engage them. So I'm just gonna cut that and uh, I'll see you guys back in the base if there's anything. All right. All right, just pulling back in. Uh, successfully dropped off the, uh, the two guys. We got $219 for that. Can you repair that for me? Seriously, can you repair? Cost me $50 for that crap. Right, we got $50. Well, sorry, lost $50. We got $219 dropping off the two prisoners. Uh, $151 for uh, um, the counterfeit money. I stopped by Vlad, bought a couple extra bullets. So we should be looking pretty okay, I guess. It's not enough, but, you know. We, we start somewhere, right? Um, I'm thinking... Let me upgrade the bus. There we go. Steady does maintenance, that's fine. But um, not only, I think we can hold five prisoners now, but also the speed increased and the durability. So it should be able to act more of a tank every time you're dropping off, but that's okay. Um, I'm not gonna do any more upgrades on that until the decision that we supposed to get, which I honestly thought was gonna happen in this episode, it happened, but it didn't. So that's on me. This is our new little hut, as you can see. So we're gonna be sleeping in here. It's pretty, uh, pretty nice, actually. Compared to what we were sleeping in before, which was like a trailer. Um, but yeah, let's sleep and we call it a day. Alright, so not a morning. However, that's the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, honestly thought it was going to be a decision. <laughs> so that's on me. I didn't know. But at least the training is over. We could officially work independently. And uh, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.